what's going on, where are people moving, and most importantly, and most interestingly, yeah. I think that is that they say why yeah, people yeah. are moving. So you you asked about Florida. Why don't we check this out? Um, we're going to click here. So primary reasons for moving, so inbound and outbound. So if you're met 100% on the money. 38% of those moving to Florida are moving there for retirement. Hmm. And then the, the next larger chunk is lifestyle. And, you know, I guess you could have twisted my arm and I could have told you that. Yeah. But getting these numbers is interesting. And I also, though, 26% of people who are leaving are actually leaving for a job. Yeah. Not many people are moving there for a job. Yeah, it's that lifestyle and retirement. Yeah. Um, you know, some people, you know, people are leaving for family. They mm -hmm. got family somewhere else. I've been hanging out on the beach too long. Mm -hmm. I mean, no, and hardly anyone's moving there for the cost. Yeah. People, it is. But it not is many people are, are not many people are leaving, though, because of it's too expensive. Yeah. Yeah. And that is actually. Um, and you can, you know, taking a look at other ones, um, you can see you can you can see the flip side. There, the factors are not the same across across different markets. That's what's really interesting too. Mm -hmm. um, the age ranges, I think, is interesting. You look at the inbound, um, but also the outbound. Sixty five and older, forty seven percent of the outbound are, but but there are more people moving in. They're probably moving back from family. Those are probably like yeah. really old folks. Yeah, I, I'm assuming. And there's cheaper. Um, healthcare options, yeah. maybe back home or just being close to family is easier. Mm -hmm. You know, they're, they had a good time at, you know, whatever retirement community that they were in. And it's like, all right, this is, it's just, they're getting older. Um, one thing I think it's interesting to note and pay attention to, um, is looking at those age breakdowns because again, yeah. thinking back to that real page Bercadia report we looked at last week, um, you know, it's important to understand the prime renting ages mm -hmm. and like for Florida. Now I think a lot of people are going to be just renting in Florida because they're moving down there and they're not sure where they want to live. They want the flexibility. Um, but still focused on who is renting. It's typically kind of that or twenties through, yeah. you know, mid thirties. And so what, again, let's look back at Florida in those age ranges, 18 to 34. It is not looking It's good. actually not looking that great. Even 35 to 44, which is you're, you're kind of out of your renting age. Not that great. Now, folks 65 and older, baby boomers, retirees, they're also making up a decent chunk yeah. of renters. So just because we always like looking at um, our home state of Indiana, you know, it's we're positive on the inbounds. Um, just be pretty much stable. A lot of that's, you know, a lot of those more rural Indiana, mm -hmm. a totally different makeup for why people are doing the things that they're doing. Yeah. So people are coming to Indiana because of family and for jobs and for costs, but mostly because of their family or they got a good job. There's mm -hmm. a lot of jobs and it's, it's economic reasons. Yeah. There are multiple trends in talking about migration um, today. It's, it's really lifestyle and it's, it's job mm -hmm. and, and family. Um, and, if you are someone who's looking for, you know, for an in Indianapolis specifically, people are moving out of Chicago. Mm -hmm. People are mm -hmm. moving out of rural parts of the Midwest to major hubs yep. like Indianapolis, or like a Columbus, Ohio. Um, so that in what I find interesting is the inbound in Indiana. It's actually a big. It's it's relatively balanced. But, you know, we've got a, a good chunk of people that are, you know, moving in kind of it. I mean, I guess it, it's more or less balanced. But that 18 to 34, a good chunk are moving in. Also, they broke down incomes. Mm. I thought this was interesting because, you know, you're 150000 or more. Probably not. It, certainly, we have renters at our apartments that are making even more than that. But your typical kind of renting income is this, you, not really zero, really kind of this, it's just sub fifty thousand, call it thirty or forty thousand, all the way up to call call it a hundred. It's really this first three. Yeah, and well, you know, Indiana's got a decent amount of folks moving. More people are moving in in this income bracket yeah. who are most likely to be renters than they are leaving. Yeah, and and I think that the numbers, the elevated numbers of people that make more that are moving, makes a little bit of sense. I do remember reading a a, uh, a study that said that the higher income people there they can move around more. They're you're, yep. you're seeing more yep. migration because yep. they have the money. That, to was do a good, that. that was a good report. Yep. Um, so looking at the ones yep. that that have high outbound is also kind of interesting. Like Cal California, you know, you would that's the one that you hear about a lot. Yeah, and you know everyone. 
moving out of California, moving into Texas. Um, but New York and New Jersey have bigger, and Illinois has bigger outbound migration, um, which I, I think is particularly interesting, but also just the reasons why they're moving out of here. Um, and the reasons here is uh, for outbound is family, lifestyle, job, cost is... Retirement, really. But, Ret- yeah. Retirement and yeah. family. I mean, I, I mean, Williams... Uh, parents they're they're getting ready mm-hmm. to move mm-hmm. uh that to I think North Carolina. Um a lot of folks are yeah, uh, who wants to pay taxes Illinois taxes especially if you're in Chicago. Um a lot of people are moving to Indiana from like, like we said from yeah. Chicago. Um a lot of people are moving down to Indianapolis. A lot of people are leaving because of family, job, lifestyle. Cost isn't a big thing for Illinois. I think that it, it, I think that New York cost was a big one. Um I'm sure. So it's a, yeah, yeah, it's a lot. It's a little, it's a little, little bit, bit bigger. bigger. I mean, the the balance between two point nine percent are moving in for cost. Eleven point eleven point seven essentially are moving you know, out because of cost. The, the biggest trend here, you know, we've talked about lifestyle. The biggest trend that I'm seeing in general really is it's retirement and family. Yeah, yeah, family is a bit, and and it, I think it makes sense because. You, you know, you, you think about what peop, what draws people f- uh, from working from home and, and you know, not everyone wants to, uh, as much as I like to imagine, not everyone wants to sit in front of a beach or a mountain. They want to sit in front of their family um, and, and work. Well, I, I, exactly, man. I, I think that the lifestyle is a luxury. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, that's may, a good point, for sure. People can have different values, but mm-hmm. being next to the mountains by the beach, like, who doesn't want that, but it's, it's kind of a luxury. Yeah. If you've got an aging uh, parent uh, or you're, or you're aging yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Being, you know, you're not going fishing or going by the beach anyway. You're too old. Yeah. So why not be close to your family where it's easy for your family to actually see you and get in touch with you? Yeah. Um, And there are, you know, definitely economic benefits to being around that, that support structure of having the family. Exactly. 